Hello and welcome back. So yeah, we we botched the last attempt, so we're uh, we're going back. So it's gonna be the usual where we're gonna have all the crisis on and diplomacy. Honestly, I'm not that scared of them. They can come in early. I don't think any of them even are in cafe to start with, so it should be pretty solid. We're not gonna reroll the start either. Yeah, we know. We know. Okay, so before we kind of just rushed into this blindly. Oh, he is actually strength rank 4. I didn't actually realize that. I guess he does have nearly an entire province. What do you actually feel that chance again? Injury replenishment. How useful. Mm. Knowledgeable. Oh, there's going to be awesome running there. Okay, well, he's got a bonus to experience. Let's focus on the positive. Um, if I really wanted to scum through the other game, I could just get some wall fires and just burn through everywhere. But I, I don't want to do that. I want to set up the way I want to go. So we're going to go a bit ash ash inch for now. We'll uh, we'll probably dismantle it here in favor of the gem mine. But but for now. We will do what we must. Now, we do need more magic, so the question becomes... Ruin? It's pretty decent. Plague's a little better. Extra leadership could be great for the troops. Or we can get magic. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go with the disciplined... It's an extra melee attack is always going to be good. Okay, I don't think, yeah, we're way out of friendly territory. So we are going to recruit here. Ah, we could, mm, mm, I guess, depending on how we do these battles. Which... No, no casualties, okay. Was that an ambush? I wonder if we got an ambush there, I didn't realize. Okay, we're gonna go for the replenishment, try and keep the army fighting fit. Now, we could attack right now, but I bet he's still strength rank. Oh. Mm, it may not recalculate until the end tactics over the. Lord, I am going to encamp. I don't really want to be that super arrogant. Can we recruit anything you want to? No, we can't. Develop the buildings for that. Okay, so let's... Mm, do we just want to go for the capital? What building does he have? Do we know? That just gives growth and replenishment. It's probably got the same there. Doesn't have a whole lot, so he can't really resist us all that well. This guy is. Mm, let's get spread corruption. We need to get that corruption up. And honestly, he's not much of an asset to the army, so I can you the damage well is pointless. Let's let's send him on a scouting mission. Right, that is the main thing with getting the assassin building, is getting some actual assassins. And uh, we can more than afford this, so let's... Let's get the troops up here and then we can bring them into this army, I think. So, we're not going to take risks. We're going to go slow and steady. That's honestly probably what we should have done in the first place. But I was a bit too keen to take this territory. And it is a bit of a pain because no matter what we do, Cathay to the left of us is going to be quite obnoxious. They always go for Exim Poor, if we're even saying that correctly. So we do need another minor territory fast so that we can actually get things underway. He's moving in over there. He's changed to mustering while recruiting. We can't muster everywhere though. 
Thank you. Just the heart vision. Yeah, he's not there. He's got nine. There's eleven there. Three there. He's probably just trying to um, prevent me from actually getting many more troops. Hundred percent chance is pretty awesome. That shouldn't fail us, hopefully. Question mark. Okay, I'm not gonna invest too heavily because we're doing this to get those assassins and cunning. We'll still be good defensively. Many, many kills today. Well, I'm not really gonna use these in his armies. I know some people will cringe at that, but I still find them kind of entirely irritating. Okay. So if he comes at me, he loses. If he ums and ahs and stays around, hopefully the death mask can get the drop on him. He has seen me. Hmm. Now that took about 75% of my movement, so he shouldn't be able to reach me if I withdraw. So we're gonna go for the withdraw, because obviously two armies on one, two orc lords are very tough. Yeah, he can't reach me. Ooh, but this does give us an up here. I think I'll get that. Okay. Oh, are you like. Oh no, they're just in range. Okay, so. We'll try and initiate with the reserve force. As you would just say. We can't block him, can we? No, we can assault units though. Yeah, let's do a cheeky assault unit. Let's be very careful though. Let's move him past so he doesn't obscure the army because sometimes if he stands there he's gonna make it further from him to actually reach. Well, that sounded alright, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god, okay. This is fine. Okay, well, it says 3%, so let's give it a try. This should give us more than enough troops, though. How is this story for the victory? Are you crazy, AI? Are you, are you just bat? Okay, fine, whatever. We're gonna fight it. We're good on food this time. Nah, I see. It thinks I'm gonna let that reinforcement go in back there. I could just be like, oh yes, but do we die? Yeah, we're coming at exactly the same time. I mean, he's only got two units. Could smash two units with all of those. But can this army actually take these guys? Becomes the more present question, because this is not a combat lord. So we've kind of got to be careful here. He does have cav on each flank. But I'm thinking we're just going to go for it. Obviously, it's slightly irritating that you can't infiltrate when, like most of my eye can. And the reinforcements will go... No, let me grab it, will ya? Are you kidding me? It's uh... Quite an obnoxious amount of time away. But it's either there or a bit 
there's no entrance way there, is there? Hmm. Five minutes. Is that literally the only other place you can come in? Hmm. Is being hyper aggressive against that going to be a good idea then? We do have enough forces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then has got like eleven to my basically near twenty. I think we're gonna have to skirmish with him a bit. Like I do want to kill the cow though, that's the main thing, that's the main threat. Okay, let's get everyone in gag mode. Okay. He's moving yes. to engage because he knows that I'm going to just shoot him to bits. Move back. No really want that cavalry dead. That's what matters. And let's try and deter these guys a little bit. Okay, we gotta get pulling back. But we did break the cab, so that's one unit down. Okay, let's try and delay those arches. We gotta keep moving back. We gotta, we gotta drag him over here. Okay, we're kind of trading unit for unit now. He is not the best, but overall we should win in that kind of mathematical breakdown. Because so we do have the numbers. Yeah, what are you doing, man? You didn't chase the idea. Whoopsie. Okay, if we can delay them even a, a second from their turn, it's probably going to be worth it. Okay, we, we need to focus these guys. Okay, it's probably not going to be long for those guys. Let's pull back a bit. I should hopefully let him shoot the skirmish cow. I don't really want to be in combat with the seer, but uh, I don't really see that we have much choice right now. It does give us the opportunity for a big blob attack there. Okay, we, we don't want to draw these too close to my reinforcements. And it's probably a good idea to sacrifice some people. Mm, bringing the reinforcements on over there actually wouldn't be terrible because there's only two of them so let's just do it and let's match these guys now it doesn't really matter if these guys run down this corridor because it's bringing them further and further away from our reinforcements and over here we should be able to get the drop on these guys just gonna tell everyone to run into combat. Okay, this side is collapsing. Man, Savage Yucks are. Uh, don't get enough credit.
No, get over there. Oh my god, are you struggling against these two units? Jesus. Nah, you're, you're not killing me, I'm Snitch. A sneaky. Okay, cool. He's rallied. Nice blob there to fire it. You guys are continually trying to grind me down. You discharge them. Okay. Nice. That's another one of the units broken. They're pretty beat up. Okay, you in a wood. He's in a wood already. Come on, man. Like, it's it's one unit savage orcs. What the hell? We need to get the night runners out of there. They're, they're the more valuable unit, I guess, is the way to put it. Let's take you off fire at well since you're a goddamn motor. Okay, so. Now what we need to be. We got it. We got to keep pulling back, mainly to make sure the Barbaroids don't rally. Okay, they've, they've gone. Kind of fine if they break over there. I mean, it's not ideal, but it, it is what it is. Okay, how are we doing over here? Okay, we're getting there now that we've uh, got range units to do the race thing. Let me get that range unit really beat me off. How are we doing over here? We could be doing better. But it's not really over. Oh, it might be if I've done that. Alright, excellent. There's just a lord left now. Come on, you guys can take a lord, surely. Bring you two down here. Come on. These guys are holding the line like troops. How's it going? This thing, oh my god, come back to there. We need to shell these guys. Whatever's whatever's left down here, these lords are just not gonna die apparently. All the units, and there is a chance. How are we doing over here now? Lord of Assassins. Okay, he's broke. Nice. We'll get him off the battlefield. Okay, we can do this. This is a massive amount of damage we're taking, but... Uh... Ooh, a bit forward. Come on, come on. You can do it, Sia. I believe in you. Who are they? Night or sling. Oh, I knew you brought them. Okay, it's fine. That was a good hit. Okay, yes, that's what we need. This is getting super close. Yeah, these guys come down here. We need to get rid of the Lord wherever he's gone. Okay, don't fight him. It's a mistake. Guys, 
So there's 36 left over here. Maybe we can rally these to shoot them. Like this is this is just on the edge of done. Yeah, if we shoot him without actually physically fighting him. It would be good. Yes. Oh. Alright. Normally I'd just end this, but with how obnoxious fighting these guys was last time. Let, let's uh, kill the lords, because that should get us extra experience. Excellent. Alright, so that is the first major hurdle. But man, Savage Orcs are brutal. Both my armies are pretty wrecked from that. Is auto resolve a bit more accurate these days? Because that seemed um pretty accurate description. <laughs> we probably would have lost units if we autoed it, I suppose, which we probably avoided doing by not autoing. There were some close calls though. Six men left. And we got the 20 food, more importantly. Um, replenishment, I think. Guess we need to carry on fighting, which is going to be rough. Okay, well. Let's get you Walt Lightning maxed out. Let's get cunning. We should be able to finish these guys off with relative ease, right? Doesn't even have a lord yet, so we should have the, the firepower for this. We're gonna lose exactly one unit. I can suppose. I don't like those units anyway. Like, honestly, no one did particularly well in that fight. Go for the experience because we can't get much replenishment. All right, we're already rocking it. Go to talisman. Now we're talking. Death master snitch. Okay, cunning extent. Ugh, you are not having the talisman, mate. All that. Nice. Okay, so it feels like. We're off to a better start already. Mm -hmm. We're still out of our own territory, which is super annoying, really, if I'm being honest. But we've set him back many units. Hmm, if I merge these up, could I carry on fighting? I feel like 80 out of 120. It's Probably not worth it this turn. Let's uh, pop over the border. Do some healing. I guess we can't afford to be sitting around, so let's get another lord. Like, we really need the additional magic. The magic item chance it's pretty solid. Okay, is it gonna be? Is it gonna be? Absolutely wrecked now, so let's just get cheap units. And we gotta make sure our territory is safe. So, it's time for the assassin to do the assassin thing and scout. Okay. I'm gonna say for good earners. Guess we can. We can do it right. I guess I should have done last turn, right, Dan? Uh. Okay. Wait, what does uh, Snag do again? Hidden while firing. Oh. Oh, that would have been so good. I could have run circles around him. Okay. Alright, so. Feel like we're on a good footing now.
Let's see what it says is more disadvantages when the turn takes over. Win three battles. Could we have not have had that at the start? Okay, what is your military strength now? Nice. Okay, his military strength is actually lower than everything he wants peace. So we have actually taken out all his forces. I'm pretty sure already. So let's get up here. Now, I've only really got 18 units here, which is not all that much. Hmm. We force march. How far can we get? And if we encamp move, that is pretty much the same, right? So we're going to do a little handoff and decommission this guy because he's only level one anyway and we don't have loyalty issues but we will have food issues if we don't sort out the food situation okay so that that pretty much gives us a full stack between his forces So we need to be moving as many as we can. Okay, so that's 20 dudes. And uh, we're gonna like alternate using camping. So now. He refuses. Like, he should realistically only be able to reach to about there. I really want a first match, but this would be so dangerous. Yes, we could uh, we could keep just inside the sphere, but force match, so that gives a tiny bit extra. Right, he's not going to be able to lightning strike me with a level one character, so I would still have the capacity to get reinforcements if attacked. Yeah, see. So they're going to heal up. Hmm. Let's get one thing understood. I wonder if it'd be worth lying to him and taking a piece and then just betraying him. Good old Skaven way. Okay, let's do this. This episode is starting to get a little long now, but I imagine he's not going to want to confide us. For obvious reasons. Once we've got the capital, that'll be pretty solid. Because taking it is going to be uh, more difficult. Hmm, he's not going to actually try and fight me there. He wants to. Uh, he wants to fight me here. Death Master. Is this a trick? Is there another arm down here or something? I order a scary move. Good old scheming paranoia. Okay, so we should be able to move up to reinforce, attack with the other army. I don't think it can even get away from us prospectively. He can't recruit in the underwear stance, so for the ashen, move up here. And I guess we can channel for the other army. Below. Have them then. Oh, he's gonna run away, you coward. Wow, okay. Well, I guess we're gonna come out of channeling stance. Probably not taking one of these territories they're not overly bothered about taking. Hmm.
Yeah, he's just trying to run me around here, so he can't recruit when he's in underwear. He's leaving his actual capital majorly exposed here. We gotta do something about this uh, negative public order. So we're we're gonna eat over here because there's definitely no one here, right? Yeah. So this place is super vulnerable. We'll keep him nearby because we we'll want the wizard in the battle. It's not great, but we might as well have him. The not. Master of Sears. No, we're gonna have to stay together because if we don't stay together. Yeah, oh, wouldn't that have been annoying if we got like underway intercepted? I guess we could attack her, I mean fifties. Terrible odds. Still 50-50. I guess we gotta do it. Now I'm gonna to get my levels any other way. Nice. You failed. Failed and got out of the level. Mm. Now we're actually we're only losing a hundred food a turn. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, so we will do the siege next turn and the next video. Thank you very much for watching. If you are still watching. And who knew Savage Ox was such a pain in the ass? Yeah, you're not looking around now, are you? He's gonna go over there and encamp. Which is fine. We will have victory yes. yes, we definitely will. Victory master. Yeah, we can only really attack if you're a siege attacker, can't we, I think? Although that's got siege attacker. Hmm. Could put that in the other army. And in camp with this army so we've got better stats. But he only has nine units and some capitals. So he's probably just gonna dip around where a capital is city, isn't he? Never mind. Never mind, donkey. Draw blades. The army means yes, it is. Okay, here in there. Sniff smell for shiny shines. Perfect victory, in my ass. Which map is it? Yeah, what's that one? It's quite a nice map, but he only has three of archers. Yeah, so we'll come in on either side and uh, just to cement this victory, we can do this. Which I'll pop now because I'll forget otherwise. We'll give uh, all armies stalk and snipe. Get wrecked. This way, way. We'll be able to get this to a nice, reasonable level. It's not that it kind of sucks. But, okay. I will see you guys next time. If you got any comments, feedback, suggestions, ideas, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And thank you for your time, and I wish you good fortune in all your wars to come. I'll see you in the next one.